Hi, welcome to Stories with Mimi Laura. Today's story is about a prince. And the name of the story is The Prince and the Servant's Game. Once upon a time, in a grand castle surrounded by vast and beautiful gardens, lived a young prince named Alexander. Prince Alexander had everything a child could ask for. Toys, books, and delicious treats. However, despite all his riches, he was very bored. The king and queen, his parents, had forbidden him from leaving the castle grounds for fear he might be kidnapped. This left Alexander with little to do and few friends to play with. One day, as Alexander roamed the castle corridors with a heavy sigh, he stumbled upon a servant boy named Milo. Milo was busy at work, doing his chores with a smile on his face. Curious, Alexander approached him and asked, What are you doing? And what? why are you doing that? What is that? Milo looked up, surprised to see the prince speaking to him. I'm Milo, your highness. I'm, I'm just doing my chores, he replied with a bow. Alexander frowned. Chores? I spend my days doing nothing. I'm not allowed to do anything for fear I might get hurt or someone might take me away, he lamented. Milo thought for a moment, then his eyes sparkled with an idea. Well, your highness, I'm actually playing a game he said, holding up his broom like a knight brandishing a sword. A game? With mops and brooms? Alexander was intrigued. Yes, you see, the broom is not just a broom. It's a magical staff that I can fight off dragons, Milo explained, swishing the broom around with expert moves. And this mop, he continued, grabbing the mop and sliding it across the floor, is a powerful wand that can cast spells to clean and shine anything it touches. It's so much fun. Alexander's eyes widened with excitement. He had never thought of chores as something fun. Can I try? He asked eagerly. Milo nodded and handed the prince the broom. Of course, your highness. Let's defend our castle from dragons together. And so they did. Prince Alexander and Milo spent the afternoon swishing brooms and rubbing mops across the floor, laughing and playing as they went along. For the first time in a long time, Alexander felt the joy of doing something new and exciting. He learned how to make a game out of a mundane task and discovered the fun in imagination and play. As the sun began to set, casting a golden glow over the castle, Alexander thanked Milo for the wonderful day. I've never had so much fun doing chores, he said with a smile. Milo grinned. Ha ha, chores can be an adventure, your highness, if you use your imagination. That night, Alexander lay in bed thinking about the day's events. He realized that fun and adventure could be found in the most unexpected places and that friendship was a treasure far greater than any toy or treat. From that day on, Alexander found joy in helping with chores around the castle, always inventing new games and adventures with Milo. He also made a point to meet and play with the other children who lived and worked in the castle, no longer feeling bored or lonely. The story teaches us that happiness and adventure can be found in the simplest of tasks when we use our imagination. It also shows the importance of friendship and the value of seeing things from a different perspective. Here are some questions for discussion. Question 1. What did Prince Alexander learn from playing the game with Milo? Question 2. How can you turn a boring task into an adventure? Question three, why is it important to make friends and try to see things differently? Thank you for listening to Stories with Mimi Laura.